Thank you. And finally, we'd like to sing a German madrigal, which translates as following. Unlatch the bolt and unlock the door and let me in. And she says, I will not let you in. You can just creep silently off. Woman, I can sneak in because I so want to kiss you. Sweet, 
Maiden, please stand up and let me in. Well, again, I'm Jeff Von Kainel from the News Review, and um, I went to, uh, whether we set up for Davis, I wanted to give a, some thank yous and some recognitions. First, to the audience. Um, I want to tell you, backstage, we have so many excited, nervous, frightened people, and, um, and um, what's happening is um, we get to see them walk on stage, all nervous, excited, frightened, and then they hear your applause, and they're coming back just absolutely beaming. So um, just like Arco is able to pump it up for the Kings, I really appreciate you being able to <laughs> pump it up for the audience. And uh, so thank you very much. Give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> we want to thank um, particularly Brian McCurdy and the people at the Madavi Center who made this event possible. Without um, this facility, of course, it wouldn't be possible. And they have a commitment to not only bring the world's best artists to this stage, but really to help new emerging artists in Sacramento have a place on a world-class stage. Please give them a great round of applause. We also want to thank the Chamber of Commerce Arts and Business Council, which gave us a special award this year and was our, our 501c to help us put on this event. Please give them a round of applause. This event, um, as you can possibly imagine, took months and months of work, logistics, um, that we had the events department at the Sacramento News Review working on this full time since the middle of September. Um, and that's Jackie Schultz, Chris Carraway, Andrea and Esteban, and with help from Melissa Patrice and Kelsey Fav. And the, I just want to re-emphasize for them why they're doing this is because the high school music programs that they participated in, the high school theater programs that they participated in into, meant so much for them. And the, the joy that we have in doing the jammies is that we get to pay back our parents and the taxpayers that helped us with those programs. So please give them a round, thank you. And, and we want to thank our sponsors. From um, Music Photo. <laughs> California Cable and Telecommunications Association. <laughs> the Rumsey Foundation. Sacramento Metropolitan Arts Commission. <laughs> the 
higher amounts. So. Um, Owen Dunn Insurance. Interwest Insurance. Dimple Records. And finally, Skips Music. Because you're here tonight, and because of the sponsors, each of the groups performing tonight is going to get a thousand dollars check to help sustain their programs. Thank you very much. I want to give a special thank you to our good friend Kais Manufi and his group, Youth for Better Understanding. Um, YBU is an interfaith youth group that is going to be hosting people at the Jammies on February 28th. That's our contemporary night at the Crest. Um, for information how you could be sponsored for that event, there'll be, there's um, information on tables outside in the lobby. It's a great group and please take advantage of that. <laughs> our goal with the Jammies is, is really very simple. It's what we want to do is put the spotlight on the young musicians because we believe that when people see how good they are and how much hard work it took them to get, there, get so good is that people will give them more support. And, and that's the goal. That it's a very simple goal we have with Jammies and, and with your attendance tonight and the increased exposure, we're making that goal happen. The, the second goal that we have for the Jammies is to put the focus on the music educators who dedicate so much of their lives to making the music programs happen. And so each year we have a special music educator award. Um, this year, um, to present this award, will be um, former Davis High School student, uh, Brian, Brian, Brian was at uh, Davis High, was the conductor of the, um, and first clarinet of the symphonic band He's now 18, a sophomore at Stanford University. He was telling me earlier he was a, both a poli sci and an econ major there. Brian's the kind of guy that you um, are just blown away with how intelligent he is, how much he achieves, and, and you kind of have to, you always ask yourself that one question. Are they gonna be grading on a curve? <laughs> so, um, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brian Chang. My name is Brian Chang, and I am a band geek. <laughs> Throughout high school, I was a band geek. I wrote my college admissions essays about band. I went home and listened to band music. However, I would never have become a band geek if it hadn't been for Mr. Fred Lang. I first met Mr. Lang when I was auditioning for Davis High School's Symphonic Band in ninth grade. Since this symphonic band is the high school's premier performing ensemble, I was extremely nervous about this audition. When I was asked to play the F melodic minor scale, I froze. I had no idea what a melodic minor scale was. <laughs> After playing a series of random notes, I was sure that my chances of joining band were forever jeopardized. Mr. Lang's encouragement, however, prompted me to sign up for the Davis High School Concert Band, the training ensemble for the symphonic band. I entered the concert band a mediocre musician at best, but after a year of concert band, I found myself much improved. Mr. Lang's constant positive reinforcement and willingness to work with me outside of class motivated me to get private lessons to improve my technique. During my senior year, Mr. Lang encouraged me to audition for California's All-State Honor Band. In my audition, I was once again asked to play that dreaded F melodic minor scale. <laughs> this time I got it right, and I got first chair there. <laughs> Mr. Lang's tireless dedication 
to his students has made many a Davis High School student a proud band geek. Under his leadership, band is not just a class, it's a family of musicians. His commitment to students extends far beyond normal school hours. I cannot count how many times I have seen Mr. Lang leading a woodshed session for the jazz band during lunch or leading the percussion ensemble after school. Mr. Lang is the first to arrive at every one of Davis High School's fundraising events, like the Playathon and Coconut Grove, and the last to leave. Rather than settling for easy pieces, Mr. Lang chooses repertoire that challenged everybody in the band. He has transformed Davis's band, band program into the largest class at Davis High School. From the back of the flute section to the lead trumpet in the jazz band, Mr. Lang has been more than just some guy waving a stick. He is an educator, a musician, and a friend. Please join me in congratulating Mr. Fred Lang, recipient of this year's Sacramento News and Review Award for outstanding contribution to high school music education. Brian, thank you so much. I'm so honored to have such nice thoughts remembered from you, and I'm, it's truly humbling. I'd like to thank the Sacramento News and Review for this wonderful honor. In particular, Jackie Schultz, Jeff Von Cannell, Melissa Patrice, Adrian Esteban, and everyone who worked so hard to make this event happen. At the same time, the wonderful sponsors who foot the bill for this wonderful event is uh, wonderful. Thank you. Wow. To be honored for outstanding uh, contributions, it's mind-boggling. Although I gratefully accept this award, it doesn't belong to just one person. Really, it belongs to all